Today we're checking out studio speaker calibration from Sonar Works. I've gotten a couple of questions from you guys if I could make a video on how I use Sonar Works and also how the calibration works and everything with it. So here we go. So when you have installed everything, you're gonna open up the Sonar Reference program. It looks like this. Let's calibrate your system, okay. With the program, you need this microphone. It's a measurement microphone, but it's Sonarworks own microphone. With the box, you get this USB, and inside here, it's a file that you need. And this file is unique with this microphone. So you can't use a different microphone. You have to use this one and with a unique file to this microphone. When you open up here, it's uh, asked for the file. So add file from, and then you go to the USB, plug it in and find it. I've already done that. So this is my file. Let's go next. Here you need to select your input channel on your sound card. So I have the Ensemble Thunderbolt. I have also got the microphone plugged in, input one. The sample rate you want to use with Sonarworks is 44.1. That's very important because you have, if you have anything higher, the program simply won't work. And then check the signal is coming through. So hello, hello, hello. You see that microphone is working here. Next. And this is where you find the output. My output is Thunderbolt 1 and 2. Uh, this could be different on your sound card, so you have to find your output here. And then you're gonna play a test. Please adjust amplifier volume. My voice should sound a normal conversation volume. Left speaker, right speaker. Okay, so here I did adjust the volume on the output on my sound card. Next. Here it wants me to place the microphone in my listening position. And my listening position is about here. And I have also have a little bit of tape right on my monitor here, so I always can find where the middle between the speaker are. Okay, like this. And I also want it to be in air height, like this. Now I'm gonna adjust the input volume of my microphone. Okay, that's complete. Next. Now I'm gonna measure each speaker. So, this time I'm gonna hold the microphone. I'm gonna press start. Okay, now I'm going to do the same on the other speaker, okay? <laughs> then we're going to press next. This is an important point. Here we have some measurement. Uh, Sonarworks says it's one meter and 34 centimeters between my speakers. If you're not sure, I know that this is accurate because I've measured it, but if you don't know, you should measure just between. If this number isn't right, you can fine tune the dimensions with pressing here and the plus and minus, but I don't need to do that. Okay, next. Now, it, it wants you to locate your listening position. So, then you need to find this again. Like this. And press start.
Okay, it's complete. Now you have some more measurements you can check out. I know this is these are accurate, so I'm just gonna go say okay. Skip tutorial. If you've been using Arc 2, uh, Arc 2 says that you're gonna measure with the microphone up facing the roof. But Sonarworks says always to point your microphone to the middle between your speakers. So that is why I have the sticker here. So I'm always gonna point the microphone towards that. Okay, let's go. Now it says that I have to move the microphone to get inside the blue circle. Now just move it again. Okay, so we finished. Uh, now we can go to next. And here you see the results. This is my measurements in my room. And you can see I have some trouble in this room too. Now press save. Okay, so now we're in Logic and we're gonna open up Sonarworks for the first time. The first thing you have to do is go to file, find the file that we just made the measure file, and the one we made today was this one. So here is a file we measured, and the red line is the guy that Sonarworks wanted to be, so this is a flat line. Obviously, when I press play, you will hear the music in my room, so this won't work where you are, so you have to do this yourself. Here is a limiter, avoid clipping, so if you go up in the red, Sonarworks can increase the volume so you can get into the red in the clipping here. So to avoid that, you have this one checked on. A couple of neat things, uh, you have mono. And that is a great thing for mixing. The plugin also can simulate uh, other speakers. You have uh, here, they're called Japanese white cons monitors. That is the NS10 uh, from Yamaha. So these speakers have a lot of mid-range, not a lot of bass and not a lot of uh, top frequencies. They're actually pretty ugly sounding. If your mix sounds good on these speakers, your mix probably would sound good on every speaker that you play them on. Here we have uh, hi-fi speakers. So this is speakers most people have in uh, their living rooms. You also have headphones, how it will sound in different headphones. That's pretty neat. You also have a couple of choices. You can have it flat, or you can have a custom. Here we have 3 dB minus on the bass, you can see it here. And a little tilt on the top, kind of rounds it off a bit. You also have predefined, and here we can have a different uh, kind of speakers. Like uh, average from all speakers, a home large speaker, a home small speaker. And yeah, one more thing, uh, you have a dry and wet button. And this is with full calibration and with none. And here you really can hear what Sonarworks is doing. Uh, and if you think it's doing too much, you can back off a bit. So that is Sonarworks for you. I would recommend you trying it out if you have difficult rooms. I don't use it too much in this room where I'm working now because I know the room very well. But when I'm out traveling in different other studios, this plugin really can help me. So I always bring my measurement microphone when I go to other studios and I take the time just to measure. And when I come back to the studio, I have the measurement file. So I really can just change here and find another 
file. Also, you can switch to the headphones here, but I haven't bought this yet. But that said, I'm gonna need a new set of headphones soon because it's broken too many times and I've used up all the super glue that I think that the headphone can handle. So maybe uh, when I'm gonna get a new pair of headphones, I will get it from Sonyworks. So this is Sonyworks. I hope you liked this video. Now please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys later.